Hi, I'm Karen Teeler and welcome to Let's Talk, where we talk, teach, help, analyze, work smart, and collaborate with you. In this tutorial, we will show you how we were able to create an Excel file that has a mosaic effect. We posted one last Christmas and now we are sharing how to do it. It would be a great effect to use if you want to have an announcement or a game where you want to tease on the content. I got inspired to do this by Leila Garani, who I follow for Excel-related concepts. This tutorial will be making use of different uh, formatting concepts like conditional formatting, the function ran between, just to name a few. And you will need to prepare a picture that you will use for your mosaic effect. So let's start. So this is what I'm going to show you today. So we will just be creating a um, file with the mosaic effect. So um, this is the the outcome or the output and uh, we will be doing this from scratch all right so you just need to open um, an excel sheet and then you go to your page layout ribbon and then click on background if you ha already have picked a picture um in my case i have picked one and it's in, in, uh, in my laptop uh, drive so i will just click one here and this will be the uh, the picture that I will be using and um, don't be um, surprised if you would see um, one single picture appear uh, as if they are tiled um, that this uh, <clears throat> that is expected now um, for me just a, just a tip the one that I have chosen is uh, 540 by 540 pixels um, it would be ideal to pick a picture with a smaller pixel uh, graphics file so um, what you need to do first is get rid of the other pictures or the other um, copies of the, the picture that you have uploaded. But um, you have to make sure that you have adjusted the, um, the file based on the size that you want or the number of cells that you want. Now I want my cells to appear um, and, uh, with eight columns. So I will just make an adjustment here. So I'll just need to highlight um, eight columns and sort of adjust my uh, my column width. So I'll just make a very small adjustment here. Okay, so that has already fit um, eight columns. My, uh, for, uh, no, okay, let me just uh, make a <clears throat> um, slight adjustment here. Just a little bit more. All right, there you go. Now, um, after I've already um, adjusted the column width, um, I will just have to make sure that I leave another column um, right beside it. And then um, I will just be hiding all the other columns to the right. So for you to do that, you just highlight um, the column or one column and then press Control Shift and then your right arrow. That will be highlighting all the arrow, the, all the columns that you have um, to the right. So do a right click and then click on hide, and this will gray out all the columns on the right side because you have hidden all those columns. Now the next one, the next thing that you need to do is highlight all the rows uh, below. So here I'm going to start on uh, row 28, and I'm just going to highlight everything by just pressing Control Shift and then the down arrow key. So similarly, I will just do a right click and then click on hide. And then I would be, uh, I would ha just have this particular tile on my spreadsheet. Now with the extra column that you have there, this is where we're going to put the spin button later on. So you just need to highlight that column and then click a fill color. In my case, I will just be choosing white. So this is going to be where my fill color would um, appear. And then you just, for you to be able to put in the spin uh, button, the one that um, has a, uh, an up and arrow key, you need to bring out your developer menu. If you don't have it yet, just go to your quick access toolbar and then click on the drop down um, arrow, go to more commands, and then click on customize ribbon. And then on the, um, Customize ribbon is found on the left panel of the dialog box. And then on the right panel, you would see the word developer or the, the tab developer. Just put a check on it and then click on OK. That will now let the developer ribbon appear on your screen. So just click on it and 
then you will see there the insert um, button so the, or the insert control. So just click it and then pick the fourth um, the fourth icon that says pin button. So when you click on it, your cursor will turn into a small um, small cross, and you just just uh, you just need to make um, uh, you know a shape where your buttons will appear. So like in this case, I've already created an up and down arrow key. So you can also um, drag it and then place it on um, on a location where you would want to, um, to to appear. Now, if you're already satisfied with it, then you can leave it as is, and then you can also do a right click and then go to format control. Now, the format control will now help us in setting up in having these cells appear and disappear from your um, from your file or from your window. So just go to format control. And then you will see here the minimum value, maximum value, and then the incremental change. What you just need to change here would be the maximum value. I would be um, randomly assigning numbers between 1 and 100. And so um, my maximum value would be at 100. Now the incremental change, um, in my case, I will just make it 10. So that means that um, <clears throat> every time I press the uh, the up arrow uh, key or button, it will just, or the value would be increasing by 10. If I choose the down um, button, it will, the value would be decreasing by, by 10. Now, what value am I uh, uh, talking about? Um, you would see here that the minimum value is at zero. So there will be a cell that will have zero um, uh, in it. And then we just need to identify the, the cell where that value will appear. So this is where we would be putting it. So you just look for the cell link um, uh, uh, button or, or text, uh, text box. Just click on the arrow key and then in my case, I will just be putting the cell link here at the bottom right of our screen. So this is going to be I-27. And then click on the button again, and then you will see there the cell link will already have $I-27. That is the absolute reference. So it means it will stay there in that particular cell. So just click on OK. Now, <clears throat> when I try to um, press the up key or the up arrow uh, spin button, um, you would see that the bottom right cell will now have the number 10. And if I click on it again, it will uh, change or increase by 10. So every time a button is um, uh, pressed or clicked, it will start increasing by 10. If I choose the down button, it will be decreasing by 10 also. So now that we have already set our um, spin button, so we can just leave it at zero or leave it at uh, blank that would be uh, okay we will be <clears throat> um, setting this up later on but if, if you want to hide this um, you can just go to um, the same uh, to your font color and then change it to white similar to the background color that you have so that's what i will be oh, i'm going to the font color uh, i mean so i will just change it to white so that it will not appear uh, whenever i would clicking on the up and the down arrow key. <clears throat> now, the next thing that we need to, to do is to assign um, numbers randomly on our cells. Now, um, what you need to do here is to select all the cells and then type in ran between. So this is a function that will allow you to generate random numbers from uh, your minimum to your maximum number. So my bottom number would be at one and then my maximum would be 100. So I will be putting here 100. And then it will now give me a, a randomly generated number. So since this is still highlighted, I mean, all the cells have been highlighted, I can just do a very quick um, copy of um, formula by filling all the cells. So if I press on control R, what it will do is it will just copy the cell and then fill it uh, to the right. Now the next step which is to copy all the cells going down or copy the formula going down and the shortcut key for that would be control D. So when you press control D, all the cells now will have a, uh, a value. Now the thing is, we need to make sure that um, now that we have uh, generated uh, uh, numbers randomly in our cells, we need to keep 
those numbers so that um, every time we press on a key, uh, the numbers will not uh, will not change. So for you to be able to um, uh, you know copy the values, you just need to press Control C or do a copy, and then do a right click. Go to paste special and then click on values so that will already take out the formula and all the numbers that you have here will be retained no formula will be found on your um on your sheet and so now that we have already uh we already have these numbers uh, we need to make the picture disappear so we can also do that by using our fill um, fill color again so I would still uh, I would still pick white, and this is the same color as the uh, last column that I have uh, selected earlier. Now the next thing that you need to do is to make these uh, to to make the cells appear whenever you would be clicking the um, the up button. All right. So for you to do that, we will be making use of our conditional formatting. So while all the cells are still um, highlighted or selected, you just go to conditional formatting, go to new rules, and then you can use a formula to determine which cells to format. And then you just type here A1 is greater than or equal to, and then choose the cell where um, the cell link would appear. So in this case, it's going to be I27. But keep in mind here that the absolute reference is used so that it will not move whenever we are going to look for the other cells. And then for the format, uh, we just need to make sure that the no color is going to be picked. And then you click on OK and then you press on OK again. Now, after we, did, uh, we do that, when you click on the up button, you will now see some of the cells starting to appear because um, if we're going to, now that uh, my, my uh, cursor is here on the bottom uh, part, you would see that the value there is already at 50. And all the numbers or all the pictures that have appeared have uh, values that are less than or equal to 50. So that's what the conditional formatting is doing. So if I will now press the down key, it will go back. So it will just, um, let me just make the numbers uh, appear again here so that you can see. So that 40, since uh, we have um, pressed the down key, it's at 40, you will only see cells um, appearing if their value is less than or equal to 40. Now, if I press on the up button again, now it's at 50. So anything that is less than or equal to 50 will now start to appear on my uh, on our screen. So that um, if we just keep on clicking until we reach 100, everything will now start to appear. So that's how you can um, make your cells or the picture of your cells appear or disappear from your screen. Now, just for the finishing touch, um, we need to make these numbers disappear and also the grid lines. The grid lines are easy to do. So you just need to select um, all the cells again, and then you just go to view. And then on the grid lines um, option, you have there a checkbox. Just take out the check and that will already delete your grid lines. Now, <clears throat> you, you, if you notice the, the grid lines no longer, no longer appear. Now, but we still need to uh, take out these, uh, um, these numbers. Um, you cannot just simply click on the, um, uh, the the font colors because there is no option for no color. So there will always be, even if you, you click on um, white, white would still, uh, white uh, a white font, uh, uh, numbers with white fonts uh, will, with white font will appear. If you choose a different color, you would still see the numbers. So the best way to, to do it would be to go to your number format and then go to custom and then on the general uh, type under type you just um, put their two semicolons okay the two semicolons is actually um, 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 you know the options that you have there on how you would want a positive number or a negative number and even zero to appear. So since there are blanks in between the semicolons, it means that um, the there won't uh, the numbers will not appear on your on your cell. So that when we click on OK, all the numbers will disappear. 
So again, if we do this one, right? So if we go back to clicking the down button, the the cells will disappear. If you start clicking on the uh, up button, then you would be seeing your uh, picture starting to appear. Now, like what I did earlier, I just hit this uh, number by just clicking on our uh, font color and then changing it to white so that it will not um, it will not appear. All right. So this is how you can actually make the cells uh, have a mosaic effect by just clicking on your uh, up and down. Uh, spin buttons now here's another example if you want to hide some of the faces let's say you want to play a game and you want others to you know make a guess on who um who uh who are behind these faces so let me just um show this first i already showed you how or what uh what picture it will um it will give out but if i just you know click on um these uh uh uh, buttons, you would notice that uh, the faces have been, um, will appear uh, last whenever we would be clicking on the button. So what I just did here is I just customized the faces to have 100 or 90 appear so that they would be the last cells to appear with a picture. All right, so that's how you can create a mosaic Thank you for watching this tutorial and we hope you get to use it anytime soon. Share it with us by using hashtag Let's Talk Mosaic. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet and this will help us create more tutorials for you. If you want to receive newsletters, uh, just go to letstalk.com slash training. That's it for now. See you next time. Bye.